If you thought Pasha Williams was only about the Benjamins when she married a Nigerian Bologna husband, well, new details that have come to light appears that Simon Gubadia was also about getting US citizenship by hook or crook. Unfortunately, while the reality TV star seems to have gotten an end of the bargain, Simon has not been lucky as he now faces permanent deportation to Nigeria after living in America for 42 years. Years before he met Portia, the father of five had been fighting tooth and nail to become a US citizen. When that didn't work out with his ex-wives, including Fallon Pina, the 57-year-old entrepreneur hoped that marrying Portia would elicit some miracles of some sort which would explain the millions of dollars he splurged for a lavish wedding ceremony in November of 2022. Sadly, the US federal courts have again denied Simon's citizenship request over charges that he is a Nigerian scammer with multiple convictions for credit card fraud, bank fraud, and fake marriage to obtain a green card. To make matters worse, Simon has been convicted of identity fraud. We bet Saul Goodman or even Hush Puppy look like saints beside the serial divorcee. While we are all debating whether Simon Gubadia is his real name or if he's another Tinubu, everyone can't stop asking if Pasha will spill all the tea on the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Who said that? Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gubadia is in the building. <laughs> In a not so surprising turn of events, Pasha Williams officially filed for divorce on Thursday, February 22nd, according to court documents obtained by People Magazine. Are you surprised that the reality TV star has filed for divorce? Hello, guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. <laughs> November 25 and 26 wasn't another day in Atlanta. It was the actual definition of hot Atlanta as reality TV star Portia Williams married the man who swept her heart, Simon Gobadia, a Nigerian Bologna from Edo State. The father of five proposed in May of 2021 with a ring worth over $1 million. Shockingly, this was before he announced the end of his marriage with Fallon Pina, Portia's co-star on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Even though this will be Simon's third marriage and Portia Williams' second, the couple decided to go big in traditional and white weddings. The two-day star-studded wedding kick started with a lavish traditional Edo marital ceremony. Then, a more flamboyant American wedding saw Portia flaunt seven designer wedding dresses and a tall cake that the couple needed a sword to court. That's not all. Bravo TV offered $5 million US dollars to cover the incredible wedding ceremony. Since then, the couple has been living in a combined household of six children and living their best life. You know, lavish vacations, expensive hangouts that got people on social media gushing. Sadly, behind closed doors, Simon has not been happy as the US government continues to stress him by denying his citizenship application. According to reports, Simon filed for the opt-in time just a few weeks before his wedding to Portia, but US federal court affirmed earlier judgment that he was not qualified because he is a convict. At the time when Simon started courting the Atlanta best-selling author and mother of one, fans pointed out that there was something sketchy about the unverified Nigerian prince. But now, it's all beginning to add up after records of the father of five committing multiple frauds in the past hit the internet. As seen in court documents released by All About the Tea on February 18, 2024, the Nigerian entrepreneur's legal trouble started as far back as 1982 when he first entered the US on a visitor visa. When it was time to pack his bags and return to the motherland, Simon overstayed his visa and then tried to gain citizenship by marrying a United States citizen in 1985. However, the Immigration and Naturalization Service noticed that his marriage was phony and deemed it a sham. The ex-wife of the self-acclaimed billionaire told INS that they had never lived together and the marriage had never been consummated. Of course, Simon's adjustment of status application was immediately denied and they initiated deportation proceedings. But the Atlanta-based businessman left voluntarily. 
A year later, the Nigerian prince re-entered the US on another visitor's visa. Again, Simon overstayed his six-month visa and in 1987, he was arrested for bank and credit card fraud, to which he pled guilty to all the felony charges. In 1989, the father of five was arrested again for unauthorized vehicle use and in 1990 for fraud. Simon's multiple arrests pushed the US Immigration Service to initiate another deportation proceedings against him. While they were at it in 1991, Simon committed credit card fraud again. In 1992, a judge ordered the businessman to be deported and was immediately removed from the US with force. But for a serial fraudster, Simon was not done with his long list of crimes. While the government was working on deporting him, the self-styled billionaire allegedly obtained a green card using a fake identity. Simon then applied for a special agricultural worker immigration program, failing to include his criminal history. The green card got approved, which allowed him to stay in the United States under a false identity. Simon's successful venture convinced him to push his luck too far, applying in 2016 to become a full citizen rather than just a green card holder. This was when the US government found him out and held that his temporary resident status was unlawfully granted. Since then, the US-based businessman has tried to get a favorable judgment. As a matter of fact, in 2020, Simon sought US citizenship once more, which was denied because his green card was fake. The US court held that his temporary resident status, achieved through a special worker program and benefits, had been based on a different identity. Again, in October of 2022, the legal team of the entrepreneur sought a review of his citizenship application's denial, prompting a hearing only for the court to reaffirm its initial decision. Unrelentless, Simon filed a complaint in 2023, urging that the government overturn its judgment, but it was again dismissed. In addition, Simon is facing deportation as reports claim that the immigration service is planning to deport him back to Nigeria. The shocking news of Porsche's husband's immigration status is coming only a few days after Bravo TV confirmed that the reality TV star will return to the upcoming season 16 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Porsche Guabadia will be making her triumphant return to The Real Housewives of Atlanta next season. As you can imagine, many fans are pressed with expectations of watching the storyline play out in the season that will start filming soon. But the real question is how much tea will Porsche spill while on air? On their end, Porsche and Simon have been ignoring the bad press for the past four days. Instead, they have been enjoying time as a married couple, crushing any hints that Simon's frustration with getting his US citizenship has taken a toll on their marriage. Taken to his Instagram page after the news broke, the father of five shared the video of him and Porsche having aqua fun and cruising on a boat living our lives unapologetically hashtag living our best life hashtag black love hashtag best friends forever he wrote in a follow-up post the popular nigerian prince told everyone is not scared or bothered in nigerian pigeon a day can be no shaking happy sunday he wrote to which afro beat superstar david o reacted with three laughing emojis in another post, Simon dropped this photo of himself at the golf club with the caption, Happy Tuesday to all whoever overcame and persevered in life. You are winning. Hashtag 42 years living in America. The self-acclaimed billionaire is not alone. Portia has been positive and having a good time since her husband's dirty secrets went viral. Sharing this fun video, she called him her ride or die. However, on Friday, February 23rd, People Magazine broke the news that the reality star filed for a divorce on the 22nd after just 15 months of marriage. Hmm. It seems Porsche didn't uphold the for better for worse vows she made just 15 months ago. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Simon, you may now kiss your bride. Tell us, guys. What do you think about the shocking information of Simon Gobadia that has come to light? Do you think Porsche Williams was shocked by her husband's past and secret life and how he made his money? Finally, what do you think about Simon's reaction to the leaked documents? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share.
Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.